that horse. That's cool. Oh, there's so much to look at. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Did you want it? <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> it's like when you had that old Nokia and you're like, it's going to be worth money someday. I'm like, all right, okay. Calm down, sir. It's not going to be worth money someday. <laughs> It'd be nice, but the, do you still have it? No. I wouldn't have thought so. I just sold these forks. Oh, so much good stuff. Look at him. Mm. Old fashioned toy. Mm. This is, oh, these are nice. Oh, wow. Vaseline glass for the pair, 18. Not mad at it. Oh, look, your favorite. I'm going to get it. Look, it's made in foreign. He's, a, I'm gonna consider him. He's an option. Okay, come over here. Oh, look at that, that's massive. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna be, look at that, look at that, look at that. This whole video. There. Look, here we go. Pardon? I know. Hmm? Yeah. Do I need any more salt and pepper shakers? Probably not. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, oh, that's pretty. Is your umbrella stand?
Daniel just had one of these on his channel. Mm. Yep. Here's your favorite derpy deers. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at her. That's cute. Steady, that's my purse. <laughs> that's what we need. Look at these. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're so good. Hmm? Oh yeah, those are cool. Mm -hmm. Let's check them over. Like a good neck. Yep. Yeah. For five? Yeah. For, oh, Shelly. Look at that beautiful thing. Yeah, it's gorgeous, though. Huh? Yeah, you can find. That's the thing. You can find bargains at an antique shop. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's nice. It's all right. Oh, that's for paint. Okay. Mm hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's worth getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Get it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. It's a bit rough. Look. Yeah, I think that's the way it's made. Oh, yeah, though. it is a bit, but I'm just saying it's a bit rough. But. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this parking
so cute though. Put this back. Nortaki. Oh. Seven. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> oh, my God. Look. Look what we found in the wild. Treasure craft. Mm. What? Oh, yeah, get it. <laughs> I'm just like, get it. I can't believe they had a treasure craft here in the UK, Virginia Beach. Pretty cool. Yeah, and I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it, yeah. Yeah. you going to leave it? Yeah, I'm going to leave it. So you do want it? No, I don't want it. I, at first I did, and then I was like, mm. Mm. No, it is. It's just certain, certain. Mm. <gasps> wow. That's cool. Where's my? Well, welcome back from the shop with me. I hope you enjoyed it. That was the Manning Tree Emporium in Manning Tree down in Essex. We went down that weekend. It was Easter weekend. and We went down to visit some friends. And of course, they had to stop into the Manning Tree Emporium. The guy there was so nice. I believe his name was Peter. And he was such a nice man. And he let me film. And he was just ever so helpful and friendly. Really nice guy. But now we're going to get into the haul. Let's see what I got. Y'all got kind of, I got quite a bit of stuff. Well, it's not excessive amount. <laughs> Just a good amount. All right, let's get into it. So these were all, there was 58 different dealers in this place. It was upstairs, downstairs. It was really good. It, had, it was packed full of great stuff, as you saw in the video. So I got these from different dealers throughout the uh, Emporium. So, and I'm not sure, they took all the prices off them. <laughs> of course they did. Well, he does. He takes all the prices because each dealer has their own tag. So I got some at the same dealer and some I just got here and there. So let's see what I got. So I did go, okay, so I do remember this. I did go to this one booth and she had 50% off sale, which is what you want to see <laughs> when you go to the uh, Antique Emporium. So the first thing I got was this lovely, look at this, lovely yellow ceramic, uh, pottery pitcher vase. <laughs> we got to call it. But look at the color on that. It's so pretty. And the inside, look at that green. Now, there's not really a maker's mark on it. It does have a mold number. I will have to, let me see if you can see that. Yeah. I will have to Google this to see if it has any information on it because there's not a maker's mark on it. But I love that. I just thought it was a great sunny color, perfect for summer. So I was excited about that. Okay. How much did I pay for this? It was 50% off. So I think she had this at like five pounds, five or six pounds. So I paid two or three pounds for it. Let's say it was six. So I paid three for it. I'm not mad about it. So I got that. And then it, uh, so there was some more stuff that I got her saw. This is amazing. Oh, this vase. It is this etched vase. And this bird is a warbler. How do I know that? Because it says on the bottom. I don't know my birds, but isn't it pretty? 
all edged. It's like a smoke color. Look at that. And it does have a, a signature. I can't make it out. I can see where it says Warbler on the bottom, which is there. But the rest of it, I don't really know what it says. I'm going to have to get my loop out and look at it. But it's in such good condition. I mean, not nary a chip or a crack. I believe this was this was eight pounds, and I paid four for it. So it was four pounds for this vase. Please appreciate the bird. I mean, it's just so pretty. And the smoke-colored glass, ooh, that was good. So I got that. And what else did I get in her stall? Oh, I got this, too. I got this lovely cranberry uh, vase. It's got, like, the wide mouth on it. There's no maker's mark. There's a piece of tape on it, but there's no maker's mark on the bottom. That's just a bit of tape. But they had the price. And I believe this was six, and I paid three for it. So, again, I thought it was a really good price for a piece of cranberry glass. She does need to be cleaned out. I'll put a, it's got like a water ring or a watermark on the inside. I'll get that out with some denture tabs. But isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can't tell it. It's got the optic, like it's like a swirl optic on it. So pretty. So I got that. Did I get it? Oh, yes. I got another thing in her stall. I got this. This I thought was so cute. This was four pounds, so it was two. And it looks like an old coal scuttle. Is that what it's called? A coal scuttle? But it's actually, <clears throat> excuse me, it's actually for salt. So you put your salt in there and you put like your little spoon and get it out. But isn't that cool? There's no maker's mark on it anywhere. And even if you didn't want to use it for salt, you could put like a little plant in it. A little plant. It'd be pretty. That blue and white is so pretty. So I got that. And did I get anything else in her stall? I don't think so. I think that's all. Oh, no, no. I tell a lie. I got this in her stall. This. Oh, look at this. This old biscuit barrel with the transfer wear on it. Look at that. Isn't she stunning? Got this. And obviously, here's the lid. It doesn't have any markings on the lid, it's just like a metal lid. And the bottom and the inside is, the inside looks a little stained, but I'm not going to tell. I thought it was so pretty. It's got a lot of crazing on it. I don't know if that's going to pick up on there. There's a lot of crazing on it. And it, I can't make it out. It says Maston Englishware. Was it Mason? No, Maston. But I'll Google lens that to see what I can find about it. Like I said, it's got a lot of crazing, but it's in really good condition. There's no chips. It's got its lid. It's got the handle. So that was a great. But this was, I believe, 10 pounds, but half price off it was five. So not mad. Very, very happy with this. <laughs> so that's what I got at her stall. Or I don't know if it was her, that person's stall. And then we walked around. This was this was upstairs, but we'd walked around downstairs, and I, I think we got most of the bargains upstairs. So we went to this other stall, and it had this lovely little jewelry casket. Look at that. There's a little bit of wear on the metal there, but the inside is perfectly clean. That velvet in there is so clean. And there's again, there's no maker's mark on it, but that's the, the lid. Look how pretty that is. Look how fancy that is. Ooh, she's fancy. She fancy. So I like those little jewelry caskets. You could present a ring to somebody. Oh, would that be nice? So romantic. Yeah. This was funny. I have to Google this because I don't know when this was made. But it's a Liberty Bell Bank. <laughs> it's like, what's that doing here? So it's a Liberty Bell Bank. And it's a smash bank where you have to smash it. Don't smash it. But you put your little money in there. And I just thought it was fun. For a 4th of July display or any kind of display you wanted. But I just like, it's kind of like a, it's a goldy color with like a little iridescence to it. That's picking up. But it just says, a penny saved is a penny earned. A bank. Liberty Bell. Oh, it's so cool. So I had to get that. And I think this was three pound as well. So I got that. And I was quite surprised to find it. And it's a man in tree, Essex. Got this. And I just, I don't know if this is modern or not. 
Uh, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but look at that. Is that lattice, is it articulated or whatever? <laughs> You're going to tell me the comments I'm wrong. That's okay. I probably am. This lovely lace porcelain. Oh, I think it's ceramic, actually. It might be. It's uh, got this little lace number here. And the bottom is like solid, but with the lattice work on it. And the top has this gorgeous little bird. Look at him. Look at that bird. He ain't got no chips, no cracks. He is in good condition. He's got his little feet. Look at him. I believe this was four pounds. So, again, there's no maker's mark on it anywhere. And I don't know if it's modern, but I sure is, it sure is pretty. I, I was like, yep, I'll have that. Oh, this. This I got downstairs, and this was, I believe four pounds and it's this lovely art glass swirly pinky clear it's like pink white and clear flower frog there's the metal top and I'll take this off and show you that that's in good condition and this is actually case nest glass made in Scotland which is now not in case nest it's in Creef so, so got that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's the bottom. And it's got this, like I said, it's got this swirl of white and pink going through it. Ooh, it's so pretty. So that was four pounds. I mean, you have to think, these prices were at like a antique shop or emporium. So I didn't think those were too bad. So then I got this planter, which is Dartmouth Pottery. I love Dartmouth Pottery. It is in Dartmouth, England. Look at that. That this see this kind of thing you could put in any display. You can have it for spring. You can have it for summer. You can have it for uh, autumn and even Christmas. You just change up the flowers in here or the plant, and wow, you're ready to go. That's just so pretty. No chips, no cracks. Just the inside of it. Isn't that nice? They do make some good pottery here. I have to admit. So then I got well, these. I got these were together. And the pair of them were five pounds. They look identical, but they're like these planters. And, and look at the color. That color. Is it celadon green? Look at the color of that. And these are Silvac. And I'll show you the bottom of the small one. Made in England, Silvac. So Silvac is stamped on here, there. But that's the mold number and everything. And yeah, so five pounds for both of these. Yep, all day. The planters are so pretty. And they're clean. Right, so the last couple of things I got were glass. And I got these two, this pair. This pair was, I believe it was six pounds for the pair. And they're identical. They've got clear and red glass, art glass. But look at the base. So I think I'm probably going to sell them together. Maybe. <laughs> I, suppose, I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But they're, this, are they the same height? No, this one's a little bit taller, I think. Oh, okay. So this one's a little taller. Yep, this one's a little taller than this one. But still, I couldn't pass them up because I just thought they were pretty with these little... Yeah, this bottom's a little wider, too. So, yep, they're not twins. They're sisters. So... <laughs> Uh, the last thing I got was this. This is amazing. This is like a oops, that's like a genie bottle, and it has its stopper, which I probably would have bought it without the stopper, honestly, because it's just such a cool bottle. And it's milk glass. It's a milk glass bottle, and that's the lid. Look at that. Isn't that great? And it matches, so it's the lid. And then this is the bottle. And there's no maker's mark on the bottom. I did look. But it's so, I mean, it's like the I Dream of Genie bottle, right? That's what I thought of. Hey, I Dream of Genie. Love it. She comes out. <laughs> That's probably not appropriate to do. <laughs> Sorry. So I got this, and this was five pounds, which all day, every day. I just, I do like milk glass. I have to say, I do think it's pretty. 
I think it's underrated, especially if it's an older piece or an unusual piece. I just love milk rugs like that. So pretty. All right, guys. Is that it? That, that's my haul, y'all. Uh, we got through it. All right. Uh, I had a lot of fun at the Manning Tree Emporium. Thank you so much for letting me film there. You guys, if you're ever in Essex and you're in Manning Tree, which is right outside of Colchester, you need to go to Manning Tree Emporium. You will be glad you did. It is so good. Thanks so much. Oh, wait. Dolo Diggs. What are we going to do for Dolo Diggs today, y'all? Let me think about it. All right, guys. Today we're going to do a fairly new channel, which I'm sure you've seen her in the chats and this live sales and all the other chats and things that are going on here in the YouTube vintage community. That is all of the attic treasures. Marianne. Yes, Marianne. I, she doesn't have any videos up, but you're going to be on the ground floor if you start following her now. And then when she makes it big, you'll be like, well, I followed her when. So there you go. Anyway, she's got a, a haul on her video. It's a haul. Yes, it's a haul. And go check it out. It is so good. She, she's got some good stuff, y'all. She's also on Instagram. So I will put her Instagram and her channel link in the description of this video. So you can go subscribe to her. Listen. I think she's a, she's a lovely lady and you will really enjoy her videos. Right. So I'm going to have her channel come across here. I'm going to have her videos come across here. That way you can go and subscribe to Marianne, All in the Attic Treasures. Go right now. What are you waiting for? I mean, we'll go after this video, but then, <laughs> then I watch this then go. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much. Thanks so much. For, I can't speak. <laughs> In one of those weeks, I'm telling you. Thanks so much for watching. And I appreciate you all coming by and stopping by and seeing what I got at the Man and Tree Emporium. All right, guys, take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.